Hi everybody, I'm Tina and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using Canva to create um, some images for an Amazon listing using Canva. Now Canva is just an easier way to create listings for those of us who are not really skilled at doing photo editing, you know, things like this, you know, in Photoshop. And if that's you, then you're going to love Canva because that's me also. Um, it's a great way to make some really great images for your Amazon listings. I happen to have an Canva Pro account, but when I began using Canva, I just had the free version. And below this video here, I'm going to have a link for you if you want to get a Canva account where you can get it free for the first 30 days. Um, and if you wanna continue on with the free version, then that's totally acceptable. You just won't be able to use some of the features that I will share with you um, in this video that you get with the professional features, but I will show you some of the best workarounds um, if you choose to continue to use the free version of Canva. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the opening page of Canva, and it shows you a lot of different products that you can create where they already have custom templates that you can build off of, or you can create your own size and dimensions of your own project. So since today we are creating Amazon listings, we are going to go over here to create a design. And here we can put in our own custom size. And that's what we're going to do today. Now this size here is what I use for my Amazon listings. So that's why it auto populated down here. Yours uh, will not if you haven't used Canva before. So I'm gonna click this and we are gonna use that template. If I hadn't clicked that, um, you would have just had to type it in that box above. Let me see if I can go back. Nope. Is this the main page? All right, so here you would type in the 2000 by the 1500 and then do create a new design. And then that will take you to a blank template. Now it's assuming that you maybe would want to make these type of things. So it is giving you templates off to the side. That's simply all that these are. So if you were creating, say, an Instagram or a Pinterest for your product um, to post later, I mean, you can utilize these templates and then customize them to your liking. Now I already uploaded from the internet um, a couple of images for us to play with in a way that if I had bought this item, how I would do it for a listing. So I went to the Dollar Tree and on their website and I swiped some photos of um, these uh, cards for kids. Now this was a wall, um, did I say Walgreens? I meant Dollar Tree. I don't know what I said, but it was Dollar Tree. <laughs> so this was Dollar Tree's main image for these kids learning cards. And they also had these below it, um, just single cards. So let's say we're going to make a listing for these cards on our Amazon account. This is going to be our bundle. I Once you upload it into uh, Canva, your images will appear on the side. How you do that is you hover over this purple bar that says upload media and you will upload your pictures from your computer, however you, you store your pictures. Um, you can also upload video, audio, Canva just does everything. All right, so I'm once I click this image, it's gonna pop it over here in my box. Now, these, this blue line around it and these circles is what allows you to shrink your image and expand your image. Now, if you wanted to place them in your Amazon account going across, say straight across, now you could click this other image and now you can have all four of them in your own uh, main listing on Amazon where before, um, you would have used Canva, you would have had a hard time taking them from Dollar Tree other than the main image and you would be forced to have to use 
this image. And maybe you like that, maybe you don't. Maybe you want to add something else in for a bundle. Now, for the free version, you can't get rid of, see if I want to layer it, there's still that little bit of a white square around it from the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can kind of shrink and get as close to just the image as you can to get rid of that white box. But if you have the Pro version, I'll show you what it does later of getting rid of the white around these items. All right, so now we have all four of our cards. I think that looks bigger and stands out a lot more than this image does here. I will show you what this image looks like um, all by itself, and you can be the judge for yourself if you like how this looks across or how the other one looks. Um, I'm gonna throw this in the trash can, so once you click on it, you need to make that square up here, that's when you can come up here and throw the item away if you no longer want to use it. Now I'm going to choose this one that is how it already was from the Dollar Tree. But as you see, if I expand it as big as it will go into this box, our white box here, I just don't feel like this stands out as, as much as the other one does. So I'm going to get rid of this and go back to what we first did, adding this one. I'm going to shrink that white down as much as I can. And we're going to put this back here. We're going to add the other one. And you just kind of continue to shrink them down until they, they have to stay in this white square. We can't have our image going outside of this white box. Okay. Now, what if you wanted to make this a bundle so everybody else that shops at Dollar Tree doesn't easily find your listing of these um, kids' learning cards? Well, I went over to Walmart and I found these sticker sheets that you could buy at Walmart. And so this could be your item that now you want to add in to your image. Now, if you have the free version, it's a little hard to, uh, you know, fit all these things in without using some of the other features, but I think we'll do okay. So now I'm going to shrink this down to get rid of all that white. Then I want it kind of sitting behind the cards a little bit. So I'm going to choose this position button and I'm going to put backward. And what that's going to do is it's going to put it behind that set of cards. Um, and now I'm going to click on this set of cards and I'm going to position it forward. To get rid of that box, you just click on the gray square. So now I've got my sticker sheet behind the cards. Since they're not really the main item, they're just really my bundle filler. Maybe I want to move these cards down a little bit. And I've seen sometimes on listings where the sticker sheets that people put in their bundles go diagonal. And the way you do that is once you're clicked on your image and it's highlighted, this little circle here, if you just drag it, it allows you to make things just a little bit crooked. And you could do something like that. Um, so I think that looks kind of cute like that. And if you're happy with that image, you now have your main image for your Amazon listing. If you want these dragged down, um, all at the bottom, if you want this, I mean, you do what you think looks aesthetically pleasing, or you can compare this listing to comparable listings on Amazon and get the idea of the layout of other sellers of um, listings that are doing well and you can kind of copy their style a little bit and when you want to download you're going to click the button over here that says share when you click on that you're going to scroll down a bit you will choose the download option and it automatically goes to a PNG which is what we do want and you can download this image into your computer and you now have your main listing image for um, your Amazon listing but you want to have more than one listing uh, or image on your Amazon listings so we can get rid of this sticker sheet we can get rid of this and you can do each card individually well you already have these that um, show both of them but we can get rid of one and we're going to get rid of the cookie monster so I'm going to blow it up as big as I can then I'm going to drag this side over until we no longer see Cookie Monster. We'll place Big Bird cards here in the middle, and that looks good. And then we're gonna hit Share, 
we're going to go over here, we're going to click download, and we'll download this image into our computer. And you're basically going to repeat this for each one of the cards until you have four separate images of just the cards all by themselves. And now that gave, gives you four cards plus your main image. You already have five images right there. And our goal is to get as close to seven as we can. So once you repeat this process with every card, um, you're done. And then you can do the same with your sticker sheet. The image that I got from Walmart you see isn't really that big and Amazon likes bigger images so all we're going to do is just blow up our sticker sheet. And now you have the image of the sticker sheet. What you can do to make images um, have what I call infographics about them is maybe they're not sure it's a sticker sheet because they're not reading your title of your listing or they're not reading the bullet points but they are looking at the images we can drag our sticker sheet over here to the side and then we can go over here to text off to the side here in Canva and then we can add words so I am going to choose just this simple box of big letters but we're going to type in here sticker sheet um, and I don't know how many stickers on there, but let's say we had pre-counted, we could say 12 Sesame Street stickers, you know, um, 12 per sheet, whatever it is that you want it to say. Um, that's up to you, whatever, whatever it is you are trying to convey. Now, I don't want the word sticker sheet to be over my stickers, so I'm going to move this box so you can drag it around, and remember these, um, lines off to the side can shrink this in. Now the the circles at the edge help you expand it or bring it in but also these lines at the side help you stretch it out long or shrink it in. And then I could have this word sticker sheet and then that could be one of my images and I could download it. So I'm sure you get the idea. Another thing I've done is let's say that this happened to be um, a placemat, you know, pretend this isn't a sticker sheet and we want to convey that it, it's BPA free. Some people care about what is in their plastics, what their kids or animals are eating from. You can go on the internet and find these nice little logos that are conveying about your product and you can now add this into there. So I'm going to highlight over it. We're going to get rid of that. Another thing you might want to do, if this is something where you want to say how big it is, um, we can go over here and we can add an arrow in our, our lines and shapes. Up here, I can choose that I want my line style to be the fatter one, or it could be dotted, it, you know, the, that would make a dotted line. But we just want a solid black line. I also want this line to be much fatter. Um, so I'm going to increase it here. Now we have this arrow. So I'm going to drag my arrow over. I'm going to turn it around like this to indicate how tall this is. I'm going to go back over here to text. I'll go to add a heading and I'm going to say that this is 12 inches and then I can drag this over once it wants to let me here and I can indicate that and maybe I want to make this arrow a bit longer I can just stretch it out and this is when you see listings on Amazon that have these really cool features next to the images on their listings I think that this is really awesome I think that this is a great tool and a great way to make some great um, images for your listings. You can use these for your Etsy store, your eBay store, Facebook marketplace, wherever it is you're selling, this method works. So let me know if you like some of these tutorials here in Canva to uh, benefit your e-commerce business and I can teach you a lot of other really cool tricks here in Canva. Okay. So now let's talk about what you can do if you had the pro feature with the um, white background or any background for that matter that I discussed. So I'm going to highlight over all of these elements that we put in here and we're going to delete them. Um, 
Okay, let's go back to our uploads. Now, this was a picture I took on my office chair of a bar of soap. Now, this is a type of thing that all of us do, right? When we're trying to make an eBay listing, especially we, if you have a white background or black background, you're, we're putting our item on there to get a good image, but this is not acceptable for Amazon. So how do I make it acceptable for Amazon that really has that great pure white background? Now, remember, this is the paid, um, feature that I get in Canva. This is not in the free version. So once I have my image here and it's taking up this entire square, um, I have to have it clicked. See, it has to be for these things to pop up. If I click the gray area like I'm done, they go away. So I'm going to highlight over my picture. I'm going to click Edit Image. And I'm going to click this button here for the background remover. And it is going to make this bar of soap now without that black chair in the image anymore, which I just think is so fascinating. So. Oh, I made the mistake of making it fill up the whole box. Let's trash this. That's me making a mistake. I don't want it to be in the whole box because now I couldn't expand that bar of soap to make it bigger. So I'm going to remove the background again. And I'm going to bring these lines in a bit just so it gives me more room to stretch this out. And now I'm going to stretch it out here and I can make this image really, really big if I want to. When I took the picture, it was a little crooked the way it was sitting, but that's okay because we can turn it just a bit to straighten it out. And now we've got this giant pure white background, really close up view image of this bar of soap. So talking about the layering um, with the, the background being white without being able to do this background remover, I'm going to shrink this down and we're going to just throw in our cards just for the sake of giving you the visual. So see, it still has this white background and, you, and let's say we can't really, you know, get rid of that and we need to remove it. We're going to edit the image. We're going to do the background remover because it's going to also remove the background in between the cards. So you see how you can see the bar of soap all through here. And this is how people are able to make these really good layered photos in Canva. So um, I'm going to do the sticker from earlier that we had in the background of those cards. So let's get rid of our soap. Let's add our other cards. I'm going to hit edit image. We're going to remove the background. Give that a second. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to go back to uploads. I'm going to get my sticker sheet. I'm going to hit edit image. I'm going to remove the background. And now I can truly layer things with a lot more ease than we did originally. So we had it a little sideways. We're going to click this. We're going to position it forward. We're going to click our other image. We're also going to position it forward. Um, but you see how even through those, the little hanger deals, how you can see the sticker. I mean, it really does such a great job removing backgrounds. Maybe we do want our sticker in the front and we're going to put it back forward again. Um, and that way it's kind of, see how it looks like it's weaved in between these cards and it looks like it's sitting on top of these cards, but it's behind these cards. Do I think that's a great idea for Amazon on this image? No. But let's say you had a, a party bundle and these were paper plates and these were the napkins and these were the forks. I mean, you can really create some great looking um, images for your Amazon listing. And this is probably one of my favorite features of the paid version of Canva um, to make my Amazon listings with this. I love, love, love the background remover. And Canva is so affordable, you guys. It's only $12.99. A month. It's it, so if you're someone who does a lot of images for listings, it's just for this alone, it's worth it. So let me know what you guys think about Canva tutorials. If you're interested in them, let me know if you liked this video. And if you don't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm so, so, so far away from getting my thousand um, subscribers, but I sure am trying. So thank you guys for watching.